We just had a peak, peak SAO slice of life episode where every girl is talking about their memories with Kirito. But remember, the one closest to Kirito right now is Yu-Gi-Oh! in the blue rose sword sleeping with my man in bed. And now what's gonna happen? Well, we're getting ready for battle. It's probably kind of stupid to stay up all night before battle talking about Kirito. So Asuna is single-handedly fucking sabotaging <laughs> everything, but it's fine. It's fine. She got the crazy station powers. Let's see what's gonna happen in today's reaction. Zekta? No, oh, Quinella! Dude, the more I see Quinella in season 4, the more I'm reminded that she did nothing wrong and I'm hyping her up like fucking Kaiba. Straight up. Every time Quinella shows up, I'm like, let's go, my queen. You did nothing wrong. The Quinella redemption are going crazy. Because she's very immortality. This power freak. She's honestly just being cautious, man. Straight up, she's being so cautious and making sure that the human empire can't be, you know, has no other threats. Like, she is the threat. No one else shall ever reach my status. And the more I think about it, there's so many shitty humans that should have been turned into that fucking metal robot and fought against the Dark Empire, man. Fuck the humans here. That's right. Quinella did nothing wrong. She was, she had so much burden. She has so much responsibility. And yes, she's morally corrupt, but she still got the result and she's hot as fuck. She's mostly hot as fuck. <laughs> Thank you, Corny Guy, for the gifted tier, man. I appreciate that. I think Berkeley's gonna die. <laughs> if we just talk about the dis like, you know, do you feel death looming over you and now uh, I don't know. We just had that flashback with Berkeley. I think he's gonna fucking die now. <laughs> I hope he goes out with a bang, though. Heartless choice. Uh-oh. That's not a good title. Heartless choice for who? Roni is getting a quick one in! Yo! Ladies, don't let this girl get with the... Uh, you know what? They know that Roni is not an actual threat, so they're letting Roni get away right now. Asuna signature sandwich. <laughs> well, they're happy about it. They're happy about it. So everyone slept. Wait, Roni was on the bed though? Lina Senpai was on the ground, Asuna was on the ground, Kirito was actually on bed, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Yuji was the closest. Yuji was still the closest though. The worn horns. Oh, yeah, his magnifying glass. Sorry, the binoculars. That's the rift we created. Alright, they're climbing over like that. Okay. We should go there and cut the ropes. Renly, use your fucking blade, throw that shit, cut the ropes from then crossing over. Uh, Dark Knights, Pugilist, Balls! <laughs> Was that just lack of balance? Was that wind? What happened? That's like four Dark Knights gone, bro. Dude, these knights are even bigger else than the mages. Be careful now. Who cares this casualty? So be it. Some of you will be dead. And those sacrifices that must be made. This is good, right? We're getting more. Uh, internalization of these characters in different factions where they realize that maybe Vecta sucks, right? Because we're trying to make peace, so we need to have the other factions to, like, turn on Vecta. So I hope Champion and Sheita will be able to, you know, team up and do some shit. Yo, Champion's becoming woke! There's a lot of those Dark Knights. Alright, some people made it through. <laughs> Oh wait, are we coming? Oh yeah! Take shit out! This is 
fucked up. <laughs> that Yamero just really made me feel like we're the bad guys right now. Holy shit. Oh my god. Renly, stop. What are you doing? <laughs> no! Yamero! Are we the bad guys? Yeah. That's right, this is not a duel, you know? This is just- This is a battle for survival, it's fucking war. Blame Vecta! Man, the champion! Bro! The way that they're riding the champion right now is actually so good. He's not just this like one-sided character who's just here to fight, he's like... We're warriors, man. We train for this shit, and this isn't even a duel. It's like a waste of life. Fuck Vecta. I think there could be opportunity for Alliance. Right eye. Nah, it doesn't say 871 just yet, but the eye is glowing. Mm. Now, why would the eye glow there? Because, like, so far, Code 871 happened when we were trying to go against the Taboo Index and break that shit, right? But, remember, when Alice broke the Taboo Index, she did not have her eye blow up until she, like, challenged the faith of the church when Kirito was hanging out. Now, Yuji's eye blew up when he was trying to figure out, should I kill Ryus or not, right? But why the fuck did the pugilist guy? What? What? Why did the champion's eye glow there? What is he going through right now? He's realizing that Dark God Vecta is a fucking phony. So it's kind of like that, right? Almost like a faith being challenged. Like he should be faithful towards the Dark Territory and Vecta, just like how Alice was faithful towards you know Pontifex and the Axiom Church. But now you know, kind of similar. They're both realizing this is fucking bullshit. So the more they become woke and goes against the script of what their role is supposed to be. That I, right? What do you say? AI of us is superior. Is Critter about to turn the not dial up <laughs> in like how smart <laughs> the Dark Territory AI is? Wait, what do you mean right now? Is Critter is the hacker man? Uh oh! Outside the game! Uh oh! Your critter, what are you going to do? Okay, back to one times acceleration. We're in America what? now. That was it crazy. A PvP with lifelike human avatars and realistic biorans? Oh, no way! They're about to fucking open the floodgates. He's literally dropping a beta. Oh my god. Oh my god. But like, how? They, they need STL technology. How are they going to play though? Because you can't just play. Yes, the English is funny. The English is funny. But like, how are they going to play? Because you can't just dive in with the, the limited technology. This is like specific wrath shit. How? Arms and heads and stuff? Yeah. No way. No, no way. reflections? Hell the yes. No reflections? No reflections? I'm for this beta. <laughs> is this your typical American? Blonde wife, fucking disappointed at the husband, fucking gaming. He has a USA shirt on right now, bro. USA, USA. <laughs> oh, that looks fun. This is sick. Will there be girl avatars? Girls for the win. I'm definitely making my character a girl. Okay. Global launch for Underworld, and they're gonna join in. This is gonna be hype. Oh shit, look at all those players, bro. Look at all them! Yui! What the fuck? Yui shows up? Okay, this is rare as fuck. Yui sees all these people, you know, entering the underworld right now from America, I guess. Papa and Mama ga Yui stopped him! Call the Avengers. Call Shinon, Lisbeth, Silica, Klein. Everybody, get the fuck in the game! Yes, now is the time. Everyone's coming in. Agil? Not Agil. You know what? Straight up, let the laughing coffin members in. Zaza, I don't care. Right now, lift the floodgates. Let everyone fucking in. Shinosa, Yuri, 
It's Donna Link Star, baby. Oh, this is getting so high. Waiting for this in season three. From the beginning. All right, Leafa coming in. Leaf, fucking Su Sugo, fucking call your not the boyfriend, but what was his name? What, what, what was that? What was that one dude? When uh, remember when Leafa got rejected and then the Recon, yeah, Recon, get Recon in here, get all the ALO people. Literally the entire everyone that showed up for Mother's Rosario, call them up. Oh, Asna's mom, fuck it. Asna's mom, dive Link Star. I, I've seen her in game before. Get her in. That's right, Eugene. Anyone, everyone that we've seen. Fucking Porcupine Head. Remember Porcupine Head from season one? In the first arc, that dude, that was the fucking piece of shit? Call him in. I know his ass survived too. Eagle's not gonna make it in though, because he has no voice actor. Dude, if Kaiba shows up, I'm gonna fucking lose it. If Kaiba actually shows up, I will lose it. Like, imagine final fucking clash between the underworld and something bad happens, and it's like, oh no, what's gonna happen? And then, just like in season one, episode one, what? It's like Yoru Kush. What, what the fuck does it say? He, he says, like, welcome to a say. He's like, my name is Akiko Kaiba, right? Literally, fucking beginning, just like, sh the, the, the sky goes fucking red. My fanfic is getting out of control right now. Kaiba shows up, I would lose it. <laughs> also, how the fuck is this? Because everything is one time acceleration right now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is one time acceleration right now, therefore. Like, all this time to get here and shit, it's not gonna take forever. <laughs> Quinella needs to show up too now. Huh? Where's Quinella, man? ケキさん、では、コントロールルーム、聞こうかだ。え、えっと、そちら、ラス本社の <laughs> Was Sugu always that heavy? Or did she get a buff? I know Leafa was. I don't remember Sugu being this fucking packed though. What the hell? Huh? Yes. Yeah, where's Silica? One time's an acceleration, man. Yeah. Like five minutes ago. They call themselves... <laughs> what? I, I was gonna say some sort of like nickname, like the Black Swordsman and Light Splash for like, I don't think Shinon and, you know, Sugu had really has titles. Uh, yeah. Leafa and Shinon. Shinon to yeah. Dude, they're fucking locked in. Here we go. We got the STL shit. Oh, wait. Klein? Silica! It is so sad what they've done to you, Agil. It is so fucked. It is so messed up what they've done to you, Agil. He is like, not even a jobber. I want you to understand that like, this is a new tier of NPC. Because like, you got the main squad, right? You got like Kirito, Asuna, right? You got the main squad, right? And then there's background characters, right? Some, sorry, there's some like side supporting characters like Shinon, you know, fucking... Klein, Silica, blah, blah, blah. And then there's jobbers, where they kind of just exist in different merchants. At least they have lines. And then there's straight up background characters. No dialogue, no line, literally just existing and standing in place. They're not even letting Egil sit on the couch. This has to be racially motivated. This is racist. This is not okay. Tina is sitting on the couch. Agil is not allowed to. I want you to realize how fucked up this is. Agil say something! Oh yeah, Yui? Damn, you figured the plot out. The NSA, right? <laughs> yep. Clone Wars. Okay. Whoa. Oh, 
You motherfucker! Why did you have to include this one? Come on! We were having a good time there, thinking about all the things that, you know, happened throughout SAO and Alice is the proof of her existence. Yeah, thank you for reminding me of this. God damn it. You really did that. Come on, A1. And you know what the fuck that thing is? Hold up. Is this new animation? Wait, 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 wait. Is this re... Is this a repeated animation from season one? Season one? Or did A1 pictures go out of their way to animate... If this is not old, if this is new from A1, they are diabolical. A1 Pictures is diabolical if this is not reused. Holy shit, could you imagine? <laughs> they went out of their way to be like, yo, we're gonna, we gonna, we gonna draw that one scene in it because we fucked in the head. After what I've seen A1 Pictures do in season 3 and season 4, I would not put it past them, bro. <laughs> Eagle's there. His ego is no longer present, and he can only make grunting noises, but he's there. <clears throat> he's like, Kirito, he's lit, Aegil is literally Kirito. Right now. Kirito literally is a wheelchair. Aegil, even though he, hasn't, he doesn't have a wheelchair, he might as well be a fucking vegetable right now. I've also never seen his wife. She does not exist. Liar. Yui, you're going on a fucking generational run of mental gymnastics to justify why Alice, this person we've never even known or seen, is so important, therefore we need to risk our lives to fight for. Like, I get the whole point right now, but goddamn, like, <laughs> she's going on a fucking speech to, like, make us actually give a fuck. It's like, she is the reason why we're all here, Zaseed! Yeah. Silica, Aegil, Aegil mentioned. Yeah, you could say that. Yeah, you could. I mean, you, you're popping off. She actually made them cry. Yo, I want Silica to get in there and Peanut to be a huge ass fucking dragon, like an integrity knight dragon, and Peanut to just breath attack and just wipe down masses. That would be so fucking peak. He speaks. The voice actor got renewed. That's everything I wanted. I can now die in peace. Now I can end SAO and I'll feel like everything is right. I truly, ever since the end of Aincrad, what they've done with Aegil was so disappointing. He has so much potential as a character. And they renewed his voice actor lines for season 4. Oh, thank fucking god. Let's go. He's back. Tiffany is back! <laughs> now what? How do we get into the game? 30,000 Americans coming in, bro. Will they listen? It's probably too late. I think it's too late. Yeah, this is kind of crazy. This is straight up Japan versus America to see who gets the nukes right now, if you really think about it. That is really puts like this whole project into like context of like how important who the winner is. They want to kill, bro. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, oh shit! The time zones! Oh no! No, they're in they, they're in prime time. America is in prime time, and everyone's fucking sleeping right now. Oh shit! We're already nerfed. New York Active player. Aegil getting lines is crazy right now, though. Thank you, Aegil, for this such important dialogue. What are we gonna do about this? Aegil actually has more lines than Kirito right now. That's funny. Given God accounts, we have what? Like the Solaris, like God of Sun. We have God of Earth. Stace is already taken. Vector is already taken. There's two more God accounts. Our accounts. Where do you get that from? 
just our accounts, but like convert it into Underworld is what I'm like, assuming. It's the same shit every time, just convert them. <gasps> like, I wonder... Yeah, it's conversion, right? Any, anytime you want to fucking hop onto a new game and not start from scratch because we're lazy, just, just convert. How OP are our accounts going to be, though, right? Relative to the god accounts, like, wonder how OP these accounts will be. Uh-oh. What's the con? What? Don't Are you gonna tell me? Alright. Alo! Oh my god, dude. we having a whole ass fucking emergency meeting in ALO right now. This is getting dummy hype. Elizabeth literally having to have a speech to convince the fucking executive council that we should all go in. ZASHIDO! Yeah, where does Spriggan's at? Yeah, where does Spriggan's at? I see Eugene! They're real! Eugene, yeah. Like, he is Duso Volt, bro! If Eugene goes in, Duso Volt will look at Eugene and be like... And Eugene will be like... Murmur, murmur, murmur. Gossip, gossip, gossip. Elizabeth, you can't do this with such a thing. Yeah, it's like 4 in the morning or something. I don't think that Kirito is still in the same place as Kirito is. It is definitely concerning that Kirito hasn't locked in for 10 days. Oh no, what is he doing, bro? He missed out his daily. I really believe that I can't believe it. I believe that I can't believe it. I believe that I can't believe it. What do you have to lose? What do you have to lose, though? Why are you being so opposed to this? Yeah, the, conver the conversion problem. What, what is the problem, though? What is the negative? ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、
probably one of the leaders from their sides, maybe Eugene will be like, boom, and then, you know, make everyone listen and do like a motivational speech. I hope that Agil's gonna do something. That would be sick. <laughs> Y'all don't remember Zekin? You fucking sleeping nights. Ain't none of you fucking die. Y'all still alive. Fucking do something for Zekin, bro. Eugene. Oh, who is this? Who? Wait, someone's showing up with you. Who the fuck is... Elizabeth? Who? She know? I haven't seen... I don't know who... Wait! The headband? The headband? Z it can't be. It can't be her. It can't be her! <laughs> Someone's showing up. Someone important that's showing up. The soundtrack. Season 1. Tokyo ah! Arc, maybe. これはリアルの話よ。リアルとバーチャルを混同しがちなのかもしれない。Yo, Elizabeth's ability to pivot their argument into our favor is fucking crazy right now. Suddenly, none of that argument fucking makes sense. Because, like, now we are all looking down by other people. <laughs> not paying tax, not contributing to society. I mean, I think a lot of the VR MMO fucking players definitely are just deadbeats that don't fucking do anything with their lives and just fucking link started in forever and just you know jobless but hey keep cooking elizabeth Damn. what a speech like i can't believe how much Lisbeth is having a moment right now. It is insane. This girl I thought was just straight up just thrown away, tossed away, just like a jobber just sitting on the bench. But like, this is insane. <laughs> what a question. That is such a hard sell again. Trying to get people to empathize. Completely separate game, separate players. So, was that just Klein? Like, like, there was a moment when someone was like stepping up to the fucking stage, and I'm like, was that straight up just Klein? Like, hold on, what happened here? What the fuck was this? That's Yui. Flying with. Is it just Clyde? I, I thought somehow they might bring Zekin back to the story to play like an empathy role or some shit. I don't know how they would have done it. I just thought that maybe it was because of the headband shit, but I I I I, I don't know. I I I don't know. It's not Clyde though, it's the separate outfit. Like yeah, Clyde had the headband, but it was a separate outfit. <laughs> Where have I seen you before? Have I seen you before? Long hair, black hair, purple. Like, who? Aincrad Arc? I don't know. ALO? GGO? Tonki? Mother's Rosario? I thought that maybe they're trying to do some bullshit with fucking Zekin. And then, I don't know. I, I don't know. Who the fuck is this? You're not gonna tell me? You're not gonna fucking tell me? That's so true! What the fuck? Okay, they're saving some important character. They're, they're saving some super... And remember, this could be like a different character model in ALO, right? So like, 
there's some character that we've seen before that's going to be super hype in this separate ALO model. And when they enter into the underworld, dude, it's going to be so fucking hype. But if Yui is here, Yui is here beside... I, I just don't know. I just don't know. It's not over yet, though. It's not over yet, though. <laughs> wait a minute. Wasn't Yui literally beside... Wait, 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 wait. No! Yui is not there! Oh, shit. This changes everything. This literally changes. There's another fucking pixie. There's another fucking AI pixie. Oh my, there's a dark Yui. There's a dark Yui. What the fuck? What are they cooking, dude? What are they cooking? Oh, shit. I don't know. It's, it, the, the revelation is going to be hyped when we see who it actually is later. Because it can't be someone random, but there has no meaning. Meaning it's got to be someone that we've seen before, but I just can't make a connection. And when they, they get, when they get introduced, like, oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> the Americans are dropping him, bro. The Americans are here. <laughs> Death Gun soundtrack, bro. It's high, bro. And of course, they're not gonna actually have designs because who the fuck is gonna invent the actual character designs, right? They're all just gonna be these kind of knights, huh? Death Gun soundtrack goes hard, bro. Oh my god. This is getting unbelievably hype. Oh my god. Because, like, I've been waiting for people to fucking just get in the game. It's only key to turn the game. When's Nasa gonna show up? When's Nasa gonna show up? Finally, she showed up. It's just like, I want the rest of the gang in there. And as soon as Vector was like, yo, Critter. Our AIs are fucking stupid. I'm like, what's Critter gonna do? Increase the AI intelligence by a dial? Nah. We gonna fucking leak the game online to American servers and they gonna fucking join in until they all drop in. And what is our counter to that? We have our own Avengers, man. Now there's a reason for everyone to get fucking involved. This is getting so hype. And Agil was talking. Agil actually had voice line fucking peak. And then, bro? Yeah. The, the Lisbeth shit is already hyping me up, but like there was there was some nice moments in the beginning with specifically the champion. Remember, uh, we want to have peace with the underworld, right? The, the dark territory. But because the pugilists and different factions are starting to realize how trash Dark Vecta is, I think there's a good opportunity for champion to fight with us. Americans are dropping in. We have our own. And bro, Lisbeth has been low key just you know just benched the supporting character ever since she had that little Arcanine cred. This is the most impactful Lisbeth moment that I've ever seen. It's impressive, bro. Like, she literally dominated, like, what? 30% of the episode, if not more? That was insane. Lisbeth with cooking in that speech went crazy. Like, the fact that she told him, everyone, that, like, you know, like, there's no way to log out. You gotta kill yourself to log out. And your account may be lost if you do that. And it's just like, how do you sell this pitch, right? And then there was stuff like, oh, you SAO people look down on us. I'm like, what? I didn't realize there was a prejudice there. I thought it was like a joke because usually I shit on the ALO players. And then Elizabeth has to, you know, dive deep and get a good win condition of, you know, we're all trash. Everyone, look, everyone thinks that we're losers, but we pay our taxes. We good citizens. We don't want to go reinstate into the army, so let's fucking fight back and protect, you know, Zacido, this VR MMO that we all love. And she was able to unite them. And there's this one character with Dark Yui? I just, I thought it was going to be Zekin. I thought they're going to have some bullshit way to, like, bring Zekin back and, like, have her be, like, the win condition of why people want to, like, join in on the battle. But, like, I just don't know. There's Asuna's mom. <laughs> let's let's get let's get uh, Kirito's mom. Asuna's mom. Would that have any impact though? I don't know. Who else? Um, in the movie, but there wasn't any character that looked like this in the movie. Because like, remember, there was that guy with the power suit. No, 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 no. In the Tonki arc, <sighs> Mother's Rosario. Because it, it, it has to be season 1 to season 2 content. It's Aincrad, ALO, Gigio, Tonki, and Mother's Rosario. But there's not a character that I can think of right now that has this, like, connection to this dark Yui thing. I don't fucking know. 
that's it from me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.